and we're gonna make it one platform with uh, one side going one way and the other side going the other direction and right now you want to just clear out this area well I just uh, maybe that's too much oh well I just leave it like that yeah why not because these things they could be pretty long I wonder how long your subway's gonna be if you if you're gonna make it like a uh, full full scale you know it's gonna be long or maybe you can just have a shorter train so this is the platform and it doesn't look like a platform right now because we don't have anything to compare to like the tracks so uh, let's make the tracks right now seven right five all right let's add uh, yellow yellow wool to this area and this is going to be the edge of the platform and we're going to have that continue alongside uh, the whole platform let me stack that up like that and let's dig out where the subway is going to run so I'm going to make it like this this deep and how wide it should be six wide I think yeah definitely six wide so one two three four right four five and six so get rid of this area and right over here as well and this side alright so this is going to be where the tracks are going to be and it looks really deep right now, but that's because I didn't add uh, the rails. So the rails, we're going to use um, anvil. And we're going to place it and add some lights in here. Add some ammo like that. Make it five blocks wide. And the reason why I left a space over there, it's because we need it for the signal. So once we have an anvil, I mean a track, so like the basic pattern, we're just gonna repeat that all the way down to down the platform in both directions. And we should probably add a light going alongside the whole area, but oh well. For now we we'll just leave it like that. And we need to dig behind the stairs too. I think it's acceptable. It looks, yeah, it should look like something like that. And sometimes there's uh, stores that, not really stores, but like little stationery. I, I don't know, but sometimes they sell, uh, yeah, convenience stores, something like that, or like a newspaper stand. And you can add that alongside the platform. It looks really dark right now. Alright, so your imaginary train is here. And it's gonna be like something like that, like that tall. Yeah, that looks right. And we have a block of space for it to have extra room hmm well we can add more detail so um, like this someone here just add this uh, stone brick slab yes it's a subway
then we just add that little detail and you can have that run along the ceiling above the subway so let's uh, stack that maybe 50 so we have like this nice texture of the ceiling actually this this might be too tall yeah we can cover it up well, maybe it's like that so I think the stations they definitely vary in uh, height so you can even make this even shorter you could just add that layer yeah this is probably more realistic if you make it this tall they're not going to cave out a whole bunch so maybe like this and then we have this nice texture and the subway just comes right here and there's barely enough space for it and if your subway is taller maybe you could raise the ceiling so let's move on to other details so let's make it the pillars and these are probably essential uh, you can uh, make it uh, whatever color you want uh, sometimes they have it they paint it a different color like red or like purple well not purple like kind of pinkish red or blue so you can just add that like here it's uh, three blocks tall and uh, they have like a sign that says like uh, what the station is in a black box or whatever. <clears throat> so yeah, so these are the pillars and they have a gap of seven between them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Did I just place it on the seventh one? So yeah, so you want to make it an odd number. And this is where uh, the next one's going to be. And we're going to have that go across the whole length of the station. And that part as well. So let's. Well, it's hard to see, so we need to add some lights. So for the station lights, we can add. Uh, Let's get the sea, the sea lantern, and add that to the ceiling. Maybe we could start it right around here. Yeah, that looks nice. Maybe not next to this pillar, maybe in the middle of the pillar. Like so. And we need to add a stone around it to conceal it, and also we need to lower the floor. lower the ceiling not the floor it's like the opposite of the ceiling all right so maybe we don't want to make it too close we want it a little bit dark so just copy this area maybe leave spaces of five between them yeah like that that's kind of bright actually and let's add more space to it yeah that's it's a little better I don't know it depends on what you want maybe you want a brightly lit platform and we're just gonna stack that up and that goes to the end and let's do the other side as well just stacking these pillars and we need to fill in Hmm. Oh, whatever. Why is this? Oh, yeah, this is the imaginary subway, but let's get rid of it because it looks weird. And we need to add this thing. You remember to do it on both sides. So, does this line up with that? Yeah, it does. So, just have that go across. And one, two. 
three, four, five, six. Have that go across the beam and what else oh yeah we need to make it um, make it deep oh not like that although yeah, that's a good idea actually make it have a little area underneath the platform but for now let's just have it simple maybe maybe could so this is what it looks like if we add this like an edge. Yeah, that's actually looking nice. And yeah, this is the level we're on. And we need to make the anvil and other stuff. So the rails, they're the same. Uh, you can make sure they align. I don't know, that would probably help if uh, you want to connect these tracks which you probably want to. There's always people watching me. And let's add stone brick stairs or just stone brick slab, I mean. Oh, right. Got that mixed up. Right there, and we have like this little nook. And there's a lot of rats in the New York City subway station, by the way. Okay, we're just clearing out that area. And we can go the other way as well. And this is a long platform. You want to make it nice and long. And for this area, let's add... Oh yeah, we need to add lights around. So, for the sides... Hmm, I guess we can use the same sea beacon or or torch whatever you want and let's have that align with the pillar maybe go like right around here line it up and let's leave space between maybe uh put it like right here to this pillar you want to make things align and that's the distance between that that's what you have for each of them and let me just uh, stack that throughout the station and same thing on the other side so just line it up with this end this pillar wow I cannot see it's like pitch pitch dark over here yeah so right here and then skip one, line it up to this one, and let's stack that going in that direction. Same thing on this side. Oh, it's kind of dark because we don't have this area here. And also, we need to fill in this ceiling, so I'm just going to stack 100. And right here, let me make sure this area is full. And right now, I want to clear my throat, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and you want to match up this uh, ceiling. And once we're done with that, you should probably work on other details. Because the ceiling's pretty much easy to do. It's just this. I just need to fix how it looks like. And sea lantern, of course. That is. Is it even in the middle? It's not even in the middle. It's almost in the middle. Oh well. So I guess we'll just leave it like that. Hey, and we're adding 
more lights and how much space did I have between them it was like one two three four five six seven so seven spaces so one two three four five six seven and that goes to the end and uh, let's pretend we have a full length lamp station and you can probably imagine how it's gonna look like yeah this is pretty long already even though it's not the full length uh, at the edge at the end of the platform sometimes there's stairs going up to a station entrance and you can add that definitely or uh, maybe you want to transfer to another train you could do that as well for the sides of the stairs you can add Side of a railing. Although this makes it quite tight, and in real life it actually is pretty tight, like you're right next to the edge of the platform when you go around these stairs because they take up the whole thing. And uh, let's make the signs. So let's take black wool. I'm just gonna add that maybe right here, the middle of the pillars so it's uh, more visible and we want to make that uh, let's see maybe this this long this is good and that is where you can place the name of the platform on signs although they're in much bigger letters than this so we just gonna have this five block wide sign uh, made of black wool like that that looks nice already even though it has nothing on it and just adding these little tiny details to the platform they make it so much more uh, better to look at so let me add a uh, cauldron and this is going to be the garbage can and we can place that maybe between the pillar that looks nice we can add that throughout the platform maybe okay maybe not that often but like maybe like this yeah it's a good distance and you can also add these signs throughout the platform as well <clears throat> and there's going to be even more signs so like right over here we can add another one and uh, this is going to show uh, information about the subway and I wonder if I did this right Oh well. Just add some signs. Uh, usually they have uh, the time or like what train it is, where it's going, and what times are it's available. Sometimes some trains aren't available all the time. So right here, like if it's Express or Local, but this is probably a local station since it does not have three tracks in. It's kind of small. So I wonder if you can add that right here. Actually, let's add that like that. Yeah, the, that's pretty good. That's signs. Yeah, that's a station. Station sign right at the edge. And if there's more trains, you can add a second one, of course. So you could just customize this platform to whatever uh, suits you. All right, so let's make a signal box or just a signal. And that's at the end of the platform, but we don't really have an end of the platform, so let's make one. And let's just say this is the end of the platform. That's where the train stops. So let's dig out this area. And can you, wow, it's really hard to see. So let me just add a torch for more visibility. And let's make the signal. So we're gonna take another brick fence. Just add that right a little bit after uh, the platform ends, so you can see when the train stops. And maybe like right here. 
And on top of it, let's add black wool, like two of them, and two item rooms. Actually, on a second thought, before I had a station <laughs> and uh, the level was slightly different. I made this slightly different. I mean, deeper than the one that I had in the video, so I will have to make it taller, like that. And this is where you can have the signals. Uh, you can put whatever signal you want. Uh, let's use a red stain glass pane. You can make it red. And maybe, yeah, usually one lights up and the other one, it's a grayed out. So that's the signal. Uh, you can make it more complex if you want to. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's make the end of the platform. There's uh, a fence, like a little door that pushes open, like here. But this Minecraft door, it opens like a fence gate. <clears throat> and this is going to be like the warning, do not trespass unless you're authorized to or something like that. And we can have that. And this area, I just noticed it doesn't have... Uh, the warning the yellow marking so let me add that detail yeah around here it's good and there's like a stairs that goes down so this is where the traffic workers or not the track the train workers they work on here they can go down and this is they can go alongside the tunnel and this tunnel is not perfect and yeah it looks already nice uh, let's add a few more details so another detail you can add to your station is a subway map and they have that right at the center or maybe like here it's kind of big let's make it five blocks wide so it looks like this and on top we can add um, let's actually make it more modernized so we're going to use stone slab instead of stone brick just have that go across and some at the bottom and in the middle let's add whatever you want hmm I think clay or actually light gray wool I think that'll be great to use yeah it looks nice and clean and modern and let's add some item frames here and that's gonna be where we could put your map so let me get my map right now alright let's look at the map Bam, just place that right there. You got a nice subway map. <clears throat> and you don't have to make it this wide, actually. It would be fine if you just made it uh, this. Yeah, this looks better. I think this is what I had in the original one. And on the back, you can add some uh, announcements. And like they usually put like delays and stuff right there for the weekends and holidays alright so the next step is I don't know what else can we add to this station to make it better alright let's add the newspaper stand so not all stations have this like only more popular ones so I don't even know <laughs> if you should add it to this one but let's make it anyways and they have that at the center and it's not even that big it's pretty small maybe like that and this is where you can buy your merchandise well not merchandise buy your stuff and uh, let's I'm, I'm, I don't know what it looks like exactly 
So right now I'm just doing it based on memory. So I got a light gray stained clay or glass. And there's Tesla right there. And just add this around. I'm not sure if it touches the ceiling, so I'm just going to make it like that. And this is pretty much not really what it looks like. It actually looks like the subway booth now. So let me just open up this area. And I think it's one sided, definitely. But I wonder which side. Yeah, it's. Let's make this side of the way. I don't. I have no idea. I'm making this right on the fly, so. Yeah, let's. Does it even look normal? <clears throat> Alright, right now I think it's too wide now. So I'm gonna cut that down. And yeah, let's make it like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And let's add a bookshelf. And we need this for the merchandise that he has. Yeah, bookshelf. I don't know where to put it, actually. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that looks like a library. Oh well, it looks something like this. And uh, yeah, let's add random stuff. Maybe light banner, and this is like a nice uh, store you can buy stuff. Add a roof. Actually, that looks kind of bad. So let me just. Yeah, let's add it to the ceiling. Let's make it part of the ceiling. And I suppose he has a door. Probably. May oh, yeah. Definitely. Probably in the back. Because that's what the back is for. So let's add an iron door right there. And voila, he can get inside. Yeah, or you can just uh, climb it. Actually, you can't even climb in. So that's why he has a door. And now we have a nice subway stand. And yeah. So we got our subway stand, we got a map, garbage can, some signs, and what else can we add? We got the signals. And those are like the basics. Uh, we can add another area. Hmm. But for now, I think. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this video. It's probably really long and I'll probably cut it into parts But that's how you build the New York City subway station. I hope you guys liked it I do have another video on the R160 subway car that you can use definitely in the subway station And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do remember to hit that like button below and Subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.